welcome to video number three of big data do it yourself tutorials in this video we're going to talk about cloudera view interface view is hadoop user interface so in the last video we downloaded cloudera started the vm and we got the ip address we were able to connect using PuTTY SSH protocol and now on your machine open any browser and type the IP address same as the the, the PuTTY IP whatever the IP address we connected the cloud era to and port number 888 creates is the view interface so on this interface you would see query editors like hive impala db query pig data browsers like metastore hbase cook workflows and remember this workflows is by uzi you can see that pop up uzi and search functionality Security, file browser, web browser, administration, and documentation, demo tutorials, and exit. So, what are these tools? What they do is all part of basic Hadoop ecosystem. So, we're going to talk about the big data ecosystem please recall from video number one and this was the diagram we have two main components of the hadoop environment ecosystem the first is hdfs which is hadoop distributed file system and the second one was the map and reduce function so we are gonna we're gonna see in detail about many other components of Hadoop. So, so Hadoop is a framework that allows for distributed processing of large data set across clusters, Hadoop cluster. So we discussed this last time. The two main, co main components of Hadoop is are Group distributed file system and map reduce. So, HDFS is a distributed file system which is designed to provide high throughput access to the database or the data. It creates multiple replicas of each data block, distributes them on computers throughout a cluster to enable reliable and rapid access. In the next slide, we are going to talk about the main components of HDFS, but for now, we move to MapReduce. This is a Java-based framework to perform distributed data processing. In this MapReduce, the idea is that each job has a user-defined face, followed by, which is known as map face, followed by user defined reduce phase which is called and that is why it is called map reduce right we're going to talk about the components of map reduce in the next slide and then we have h base which is a distributed column oriented database for the underlying storage the underlying storage of h base is hdfs again and h base supports both MapReduce, which is Java-based job and pointed queries. You can directly point queries from Hive and Pig to HBase. Again, we will discuss about components of HBase in the next slide. Now, what is a H catalog or meta store tables, also known as? So, H catalog or meta store table basically is 
a combination or it's a it's an area where we keep details on the metadata for the HDFS. It's a it is the metadata abstraction layer for referencing data without actually using the file name and formats we are going to see in detail and it insulates the user and the scripts from how and where the data is physically stored. Basically this is an area which is an encapsulation on the structure of HDFS from the user which, who are querying from I and So it's like a uh, it's like a map which doesn't tell or doesn't give an indication to this area that how the files are stored is it structured unstructured external we are going to talk about this uh, in our sessions going forward and finally uh, we have not finally but we have hive and it as the query tools to to actually query and show the results in a normal sql format so if you look at hive it's basically a a very good easy manageable tool to write hive ql which is query language it's very very similar to sql to query the hadoop hdfs file system and then fig is actually a platform for analyzing large data set that consists of high level language for expressing data analysis programs fig language layer consists of textual language called called fig latin which is very easy to use optimized and extensible then we have Uzi, and it is that it's the workflow and the scheduling component and i showed you on the system as well that it is a workflow and coordination system to manage the jobs for hadoop hadoop job and then we have data integration area which actually has multiple tools to name a few scoop plume scala spark you know spark is again an analytical tool uh, so there are a lot of tools which are surrounding hdfs hadoop ecosystem but i just wanted to keep it to bare minimum next these are the components within the HDFS. So going back here, for HDFS, there are three components: name node, secondary name node, and data node. So what is name node? The name node is the master of the system. It is the brain. It manages the name, the the, the directories and the files which are present in the data node. Data nodes in turn are deployed on each and every machine, and this is actually where the data is stored. So, name node is just a directory structure or it maintains files which are the directories for HDFS and stuff. But, data node is the place where actual data is stored. And, secondary node, secondary name node is responsible for performing periodic checkpoints, it does periodic checkpoints on name node and in event of name node failure this takes over you can restart the name node using this checkpoint so this is kind of making sure you know your system is uh, you know in in sync and it doesn't affect if the name node goes down it should not affect your your functionality next is uh, map reduce it has again three components job tracker task trackers and job history server as the job tracker name suggests, it's the master of the system for map reduce and it tries to schedule each map as close as to actual data being processed. It is the main working thread, right? Uh, so task tracker is running on the data node and they are deployed on each machine. So if you have if you remember this picture, task trackers are deployed in each of these are task trackers which are deployed on each of these clusters, like the machine form the, which form the clusters. And then job history server 
is a daemon that serves historical information about completed applications. Next is HBase, uh, as we discussed, it's a distributed column oriented database. Uh, it has again two components HBase master and region server. Now, HBase master is responsible for negotiating load balancing across all region servers and to maintain the state of the cluster. It is not the part of actual data storage or retrieval part. part. Please remember this is not the part of the actual data storage retrieval part. Now, region server. It is deployed on each machine and host data and processes input output request. Again, HBase master is responsible for negotiating load balancing across region servers and maintaining the state of the cluster. It is not part of the actual data stored or retrieval path. Region servers are deployed on each machine and host the data and processes input output request from HDFS. So these all things, these all components are available in view. Just play around with you and you would see some tools like Solar, which is indexing tools, tool, uh, L browser, job server, a lot of stuff which, which we are going to discuss in, um, in, 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 in times to come. So thank you for watching.